All right, you guys, today we are making the buffalo chicken stuffed bell peppers. I'm gonna use some of this cream cheese. If you guys are new here, I am dairy free. <laughs> I probably mentioned that five times throughout this video, but I'm using this cream cheese alternative, but if you're not dairy free, use regular cream cheese. I'm gonna use a little bit of this dairy free yogurt. It's not very good from Trader Joe's, not very good, but um, I have it, so I'm gonna use it. It has like a sour taste. Kind of like a sour cream. I have my Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce that I love, okay? So what I have is some garlic powder. This says lemon pepper, but it's actually dill <laughs> in there. And then this green goddess seasoning. I'm gonna use that as my like ranch. This kind of has like a ranchy vibe to it. I don't know, I don't really know what's going on. I put the chicken in here, I put a little water, okay? Then I press poultry, and now it's just going. It beeped a little while ago. I think I, once it beeps again in like a minute, then I release the steam. I don't really, oh. Mm, oh, okay, yeah, we get it. This where it always scares me. Huh. <laughs> All I put in here was the chicken and then salt and pepper because I'm gonna leave this part plain and then we're seasoning the chicken as we go. I guess I can start making the sauce because I think this is done and Matt should be home from the gym soon. He said like 6.45, 7 and it's 6.40, so hopefully he can help because Herman is useless when it comes to this. I'm gonna put all of my cream cheese. This is just gonna spray because I don't know. All of this cream cheese that I have, how much is in here? Eight ounces, but I have this much taken out. I don't love this cream cheese. I know it's dairy free. It has coconut oil in it, so it's just really hard to spread. So I think this is, cooking might be a good way to use it because the coconut oil will obviously get melted. Get out. All right. Once it starts to melt, then I'll add this sauce in and the other stuff. But I don't know, guys. This dairy-free world is new. I just got home from <laughs> my acne facial that I get every other every other week, every two weeks I go. And obviously there's, they put like pimple cream on, but the skin's looking really good. And it might not look like it, but it is in real life. Okay, and that's what matters, real life. All right, this is looking pretty good, you guys. I used a half cup of the buffalo sauce and then I just put probably a teaspoon of green goddess, teaspoon of dill, teaspoon of garlic powder in. And now I'm gonna shred the chicken and add it into here. I'm gonna preheat the oven, 400, uh oh. Watch this, go his turn. Okay, watch him as I preheat the oven. He hates the oven. It's okay, it's just oven. All right, I shredded the chicken, I just used two forks. I also didn't put any of the yo yogurt in here because I don't know, I don't think it needs it. And I don't wanna ruin it because that yogurt is weird. We'll see, we'll see how it looks when I put the chicken in. Buffalo chicken, right here. All right, ladies and gents. So again, I'm only gonna add shredded cheese to the ones, to two of them that Matt's eating. And then mine's not gonna have shredded cheese because dairy-free life. All right, putting these in 400. Let's just see where we're at at like 20, 25 minutes, okay? All right, little update. I have some broccoli that I'm gonna steam on the stove as our side. But with the extra chicken, there wasn't that much left, so I just made to mix it in with the rest, the leftover that was in here, just for one big buffalo chicken. Leftover, and then added some green onions, and I'm just gonna give this to Matt to take for lunch tomorrow with some extra broccoli and some rice. So that'll be his lunch tomorrow, but peppers are in here. I added cheese to two of them. I'm gonna put the broil on in about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna top with more green onions. Is this All right, time to eat, boy. Final din. Right, Matt's home. That's a, you tried the buffalo chicken dip, what'd you think? I liked it. It's good. How do we want, what kind of plates do we want to use for this? Cause you have to like cut into it, right? Not a bowl, a plate. What? I <laughs> like that. All right, plastic plates, ready, set, go. 
All right, you guys, easiest dinner coming up. Matt is at the gym, and I've just been home studying since I came home from work. I wanna make him one of our favorite like Indian food, rest, Indian restaurants. We get this dish called Malai Kofta, and this is by no means a traditional recipe. By no means, okay? This is a very quick, lazy recipe. So I have this falafel mix from Trader Joe's. If I want like a typical like fried falafel, I put it in the air fryer, but when I just bake, cook these up, you just basically mix this with water and put them in a balls. Um, I am just gonna air fry them for like six minutes so they're not actually like crispy. They're just kind of cooked through a little bit. And then I finish cooking them in this masala sauce that I got from Thrive Market. But I've used like the, the jarred one from Trader Joe's before, the simmer sauce, it's so good. You can do that, then on the side, just microwave coconut rice, and then I'm just, for the veg, we have these zucchinis, I'm just gonna bake these off in the fridge, and we'll keep just leftovers for lunch tomorrow. I'll snack on those. So that is the quick, quick and easy meal. A cup of this, oh wait, I think it's, yeah, three fourths cup water to one cup of mix. Mix that up, form them into balls, air fry, 350 for six minutes. Meanwhile, get this sauce heated up on the stove. If you have coconut milk or like almond milk, add to this to kind of thin it out a little bit. That would be great. I'm just completely out, so I'm just gonna put some water. Um, and then you finish cooking these in the sauce. And I don't know, I always describe my kofta as like a uh, Indian falafel, and, but again, I think that has like paneer cheese in it, but I'm doing dairy-free, so this is just a quick little meal for me that sounds good, and I think Matt will really like it. I sliced. Two zucchinis, I'm gonna spray it with this avocado oil spray and then top it with this zatar, ooh, zatar seasoning. It says it's a Middle Eastern spice. I haven't really used it a lot, but we've had it for a while. Matt just bought it on a whim one day at Trader Joe's. And then also garlic, cause duff. So spray one side, season, flip them all, spray the other. Pop them in the oven until they're cooked through. All right, I just did six of them. Spray them, ooh, forgot to do this part. On the top, really quick with a little avocado oil. Sprayed the actual air fryer with avocado. 350, six minutes. So if you wanted actual, like, full-on, like, fried falafels from this mix, I would do more like nine, ten minutes. But since I'm gonna finish cooking them in the sauce, this is all I need. So that's going. I'm gonna get the sauce going in the pan. This is how it comes. It's pretty concentrated, so that's why I'm gonna cut it with some water. Again, ideally it'd be like coconut milk or almond milk. And then this is only 90 seconds in the microwave, it's so good. I have the sauce going, added probably like a third of a cup of water. I'm gonna pop this in. The falafels have a minute left, so I will just put them in here to finish cooking, probably like three, four minutes, and just ladle the sauce over them. And then the meal will be done. All right, I pulled out the falafels, and I'm just gonna lay it, ladle the sauce over. Mm, the rice just beeped. I'm not gonna show you my microwave because that's just, no one needs to see that. And you guys, easiest, quickest dinner. Also, if you didn't know, let me show you. These falafels, they are gonna be a staple for me because look at these macros. For a third cup, there's 12 grams of plant-based protein, nine grams of fiber, okay? The second column is if you fry them, but we're not frying them. Um, but the protein and the fiber alone, I'm like, hell yeah. There's the rice down there, the falafels soaked in the masala sauce, then the crispy zucchini over there. And I topped it with the vegan um, dill dressing. But again, if you'd like tzatziki, that would be really good. And then just some parsley. And that is the meal. All right, you guys, we have Green Chef for dinner. I just got home from the gym. I am, <laughs> I'm not even showing my face right now because I just put so many products on my face and my hair is wet and I just look like a wet rag. I'm very tired, very lazy. I've been up since 4.30 a.m. because I coached this morning. So dinner is just not a, like, I just need something fast, quick, and delicious. So we have one more Green Chef meal. You guys know I love Green Chef. They are USDA certified organic company. We've been getting their meals for, I think, like two years now. We're obsessed. We get the paleo box, but they have boxes for if you're a keto, vegan, vegetarian, paleo, gluten-free, uh, you want Mediterranean diet, vegetarian diet. There are so many different ways that you can like customize this your meal kit to whatever your dietary needs are. Um, and we love it. Everything's delivered right to your door per usual. 
This looks so good. Tell me this does not look so good. Chicken Slovakia. Cucumber and tomato salad, homemade flatbreads, and tzatziki sauce. Homemade flatbread, you guys. Look, I'm, we're gonna make flatbread. And it's made with almond flour and tapioca starch. So easy, like minimal ingredients, so I'll show you guys how we make that, just because I think you guys can use that, even just on your own. Everything comes right to you in the exact portions that you need. We got an onion, tomato, what is this? Oh yeah, almond flour, tapioca starch blend. All the veg, the cucumber. So easy. We get the four person one because I live with Matt and he loves to eat. So we have four people we eat. We cook once, eat twice. And Green Chef is actually offering you guys an amazing discount right now. If you guys still haven't tried Green Chef and you've been watching my videos for a while, like I genuinely love it and I really do think everyone should try it, especially with a discount. Like there's really not much to lose. If Oh, if anything, you'll just like learn a new recipe or get ideas for new recipes when you're in a rut. Um, I feel like you can always take away something from every recipe. Like even if you're not gonna recreate this exact recipe, like I guarantee I'll make those uh, homemade flatbreads again. Almond flour and tapioca starch, like, that's so easy. So if you guys wanna try out Green Chef, go to greenchef.com and use code BlairY130 to get $130 off, plus your free shipping on your first box, okay? I'll have everything linked down below as well. So to make the batter for our homemade flatbreads, we have this mix of almond flour and tapioca starch. Add that to a bowl. And then we're gonna add half of the dairy-free tzatziki sauce that it comes with. I already opened it, tasted it, of course. It's so good. Dairy-free, love that. All right, do that, half of that. And then you do one tablespoon olive oil and a fourth cup water. And then we add a little bit of this gyro seasoning that it comes with. Bada bing, bada boom, mix it up, and then we just heat them up. It makes a batter, and I'll show you when I actually am putting it on the pan. I'm so excited for this part. All right, I have the chicken and onions going on here, and then I have the flatbreads. Just put some avocado oil on the pan, cook them up till they brown, and then I'm gonna flip them. All right, here's the spread for our dinner. I have the Chicken and onions right here. It's so good. I'm just keeping it on there to keep it warm because Matt is parking coming up from the gym right now. And then I have the cucumber and tomato salad. I have the red onions on the side because Matt's a little B word. <laughs> he doesn't like onion, raw onions. And then I have just some random hummus left over, so we're gonna top it with that. Tzatziki and a little balsamic glaze. What's good, Rachel Ray? Oh my god, cute. I have a little arugula left, so I'm gonna throw that in. Herman's just doing laps around the apartment. And then, guys, look at the flatbread. It's like a savory pancake. I'm so excited. Um, also, I'm just rushing right now because The Bachelor's on at seven o'clock. It's actually, fun fact, Matt's high school friend is The Bachelor, it's Clayton, if you guys are watching. They're from the same hometown. And yeah, they're friends. So, we're gonna watch that. But if you guys wanna try out a Green Chef, again, just one more time, go to greenchef.com and use BlairY130 for up to $130 off, plus free shipping on your first box. Any codes you ever use, you're supporting this guy right here. Say thank you. Are you camera shy? Are you camera shy? <gasps> okay. Final look. All right, you guys, so for dinner tonight, we're making our falafel Greek bowls. So I have this falafel mix from, whoa, Trader Joe's over a bed, we're gonna have a Greek salad. So, lettuce, we have arugula and mixed greens, then we have dairy-free tzatziki and feta, because I'm doing my skin thing, I know, I sound like a broken record. And then cucumber, tomato, onion, <laughs> bless you. Pepperoncinis, what else? Uh, oh, Kalman olives, and then I'll make like a quick Little dressing. We actually made oysters last night. Matt and I, not made. Well, kind of. You grew that. <laughs> uh, Matt and I love oysters, so Matt went to a little, a local seafood, like, fish market. What would you call that? It's just a fish market. Yeah. Seafood. Yeah. It's like small business. And, um, like, a local fish shop got some oysters. We got Gulf oysters and East Coast oysters, and we actually broiled the uh, Gulf oysters, because those are larger, 
with some butter and panko breadcrumbs. They were so good. And then I, with that, and then we also had the rest raw. All the East Coast ones we had raw. They're so good. But I made my chimichurri, and I've shared that recipe before with you guys on here when Matt and I had our last oyster night. But basically what I'm saying is we have leftover of that, and that's just like cilantro, parsley, red wine vinegar, olive oil, lime juice, um, salt and pepper, garlic, onion. So I'm gonna put that also either as like a dipping sauce or on top of the salad as a dressing because there is olive oil and red wine vinegar. That's the deal, okay? All right, you guys, so I have the falafel mix, chilling. We're gonna make a little mocktail it's Saturday night. We're not going out, we're just hanging in, but I have Topo Chico, which is amazing mineral water. I'm gonna rub some lime on the side, put some tahini or chili lime seasoning on the side, crack it open, put some lime in it, we're gonna make a little cocktail. I also have, um, what is it, basil in the fridge, so I'm like, maybe we took a basil mocktail. We'll see. I made these when my mom was in town as well, and they were really good, but. It's basically a ranch water, which if you don't know, ranch water is all this stuff with tequila. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I have a plate and I put some lime on the side of the topo. So I tahini the side before I opened it. All right, and then I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice into it. There you go. A ran a virgin ranch water, aka Topo Chico. <laughs> Yum. Great. So good. Got yeah, Matt helping now. <laughs> I wanted to add some of my air fried artichokes. So I got these whole artichoke hearts that are in water at Trader Joe's, just canned. And I also like to air fry these. So I'll just slice them, dry them off with like a paper towel, put a little spray oil on them, and then whatever seasonings you want, or you can just do salt and pepper. And then I just air fry them, I'll be like 350, same time as my falafels, and just kind of watch them. They get really crispy, like the leaves on them. This is what artichoke hearts look like, if you are not sure. I just sliced it in half. I don't know why this focus is so bad. I also just add these raw, but we're getting fancy, you know? It's Saturday night. Spray the basket. Some avocado spray just so falafel doesn't stick. This mix smells so good and it tastes good. Alright. I'm gonna just I'm gonna start rolling them up. Little falafels. <laughs> I love <laughs> So I'm just rolling these up. I don't know, eyeballing them. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, I did a cup of mix and you know that's <laughs> No. Rawhide! Rawhide! Okay, what does that mean? Who's brothers? Oh, I never I still haven't seen it. See it from both sides, okay. So I have them all in here. I'm just gonna spray the top. I'm gonna use the bowl that I have the falafel mix in. Fail! Okay. Just slicing down the artichoke cards. We have quiet on set, please. Nope! <laughs> quiet on set. Alright, I'm just slicing these. Can you even see what I'm doing? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna dry them off paper towel. This does not have to be like formal by any means. But the drier you get them, the crispier they're gonna become. And you want them crispy. Yeah, so I just like squeeze all that water out. You see that? Oh, Herman. A squeeze. And then you can try it. All right, it's good enough. I'm just gonna spray them. And. Let's do some green goddess. Let's do it. Seasoning on them. Mix it up. All right, we're just gonna 
put them in. All right, put them in 350, and we're just gonna see. We're just, that's the name of the game. We're gonna see. I'll let you know. And right now, I have 350 for 15 minutes. Yes. These lentil crisps. You're like, oh, no. in the. So the artichokes were in there at 350 for about 15 minutes and they're really crunchy now. If you can like hear this. So we're watching Family Feud. We fucking love Family Feud. We love Family Feud. We're watching it right now. Um, crazy Saturday night over here, but yeah, if you can hear that. This might actually be done. We have the falafel here and then the crispy artichoke hearts. So good. We've been snacking on these lentil crisps. Tomato, cucumber. We forgot we have garlic dip. Falafels dipped in this. So good. Now we're gonna do a mix of spring mix and arugula. Uh, dill dressing, which is also delish. We got a lot of options, if you can't tell. Feta, tzatziki, these. And then this is my chimichurri, which could also be a good dipping option for. Oh, let's mix that up. <laughs> Which is, could also be a good mix or dipping option for the falafel. Mm. All right, we're gonna assemble. Sir. Assemble. Plates or what? I was gonna use a cup. No oh, man. A nice champagne flute. Mmm. So. <laughs> this mm. looks so good. <laughs> Arugula is delish. Would you agree? It'd be nice. It's like a free seasoning. Like it's just included. It's so peppery. As if peppers. Oh, free. Peppery. <laughs> Garlic dip. Some call your mama olives. Call your mama. Get some crispy. Get some. Get some salt. It'd be really good to have um, some friends. Yeah. Here. What was I just gonna say? Really good. Pizza. No, I can't remember. I right, hear the final products before we dress them, just so you can see how they look. Full of veg, healthy fats, fiber. Got our dipping sauces for falafel, and then we're gonna top it with this. What do you think? Okay. <laughs>